Well, the Chicago Bulls get an injury update and not a favorable one, this time about Javante Green and his right knee. We're going to break it all down and what it means for the Bulls going forward right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. All right, Bulls fans, welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. And so we just got an update. Javante Green will have surgery on his right knee. It's an arthroscopic debridement of his right knee. Um, And so he'll undergo that surgery tomorrow, which is Wednesday, which means he's going to be out for at least a month. He will be reevaluated in two weeks, but they're expecting him to be out at least a month. Now, this is a blow to the Chicago Bulls, but all bit be it one that they've kind of already figured out, right? We've been without Javante Green for a handful of games already. It sucks. This is the first like really major injury uh, that the Bulls have suffered through this season. Um, we already know Lonzo Ball injury from last season, but what is it with Chicago Bulls players and knees? Javante was bring energy, defense, and a lot of other things for the Chicago Bulls. And I know we were really hoping to get him back because he just means so much to the energy of this team. And he has been a player that has come into games and has completely changed the energy for the Bulls in a positive way. And that was back when the Bulls weren't playing well. The Bulls are a much improved team, and I was really looking forward to what this team was going to look like rocking and rolling at their closest version of fully healthy. Now, the biggest question surrounding this is, This doesn't seem to be a major thing. Seems like Javante is going to recover. Now, we know Javante, he is a very athletic player. It all um, breeds on him bouncing and and his ability to leap and things like that. But I'm going to bring in two interesting things and and, and perspectives on this that I want to break down. A, that with the trade deadline less than a month away, what does this mean for the Chicago Bulls? Do they Are they going to trust that Javante is going to come back and be himself? Or do they look, they already needed some more size, some more shooting. Does this kind of push the Bulls? to maybe move a Derrick Jones Jr., maybe move that Portland first-round pick to just bring in that much-needed energy at the four and things that the Bulls do need. Now, again, I'm not one to make knee-jerk type trades, and I don't think this Bulls uh, front office is either, but it's already the Bulls already needed some something at the four, at least for the backup four, right? And missing Javante, who has held down that position very well for the Chicago Bulls and at times started when we needed it, when Patrick Williams needed a little bit motivation, We now lose that. We don't have that opportunity. So what are the Bulls going to do to kind of counteract that, right? You could look at Derrick Jones Jr. just playing more minutes, which could make sense. Derrick Jones Jr. has been an energy guy for us as well. Could up the minutes of Andre Drummond, or it could allow Dalen Terry to crack that rotation. Now, I'm not as higher on the idea. I would love Dalen Terry to, to crack the rotation, but I don't think Billy Donovan and their plan for him is going to allow it. So What are the Bulls going to do? Are they going to look towards maybe some free agent veterans that have been sitting out there since the start of the season? Do they go ahead and move towards a trade? Um, You know, either or could be done for the Chicago Bulls. We'll see. Now, one of the other prospects of this that I want to that I want to bring is that if Javante does come back from this injury and does not look himself, I've been very vocal on the fact that Javante is headed to unrestricted free agency for the first time in his career after playing and showing that he can be a large role coming off the bench. And so what does that now do for this? What does that now do for his free agency? Does this affect that? Again, this doesn't seem to be the type of injury that's going to be lingering at all. But maybe this is a wake up call to Javante. Maybe he goes ahead and resigns for the Bulls, maybe for a little bit less money. But to lock in that deal again, that's just pure speculation on my part. Overall, we want Javante to get back healthy as soon as possible. But this is the first major injury for the season. And hopefully. The last at this point in the season, last season, we already had three major injuries to players on this team. So hopefully that's not the case now. And uh, this is something that in the two weeks when he's reevaluated, they have a streamlined process and a a goal date in mind of when he's going to return. But it all remains to be seen. Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Do you think that this forces the Bulls hand to go out and get that needed size and shooting that they may have not gone before and just try to weather the storm? Do you think that they bring in a veteran that, you know, Carmelo Anthony, players like that, that. Bulls fans have been asking about all season, or does it open up more minutes for Dalen Terry, Derrick Jones Jr., Andre Drummond to just play more minutes and kind of just weather the storm that way? Let me know what you guys think on everything down below. Make sure you're following us as well at Bulls Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, bullscentralpod at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text and our voicemail, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related because of you guys. Like I liked in everything on, go Bulls, see red, love you guys. And peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break, break, media. media.